find it. Of course, it's COVID, we'll be wearing these things. So today we're just doing a topic pregnancy. I'm currently doing outside guiding, it's my new rotation. So usually I'll be seeing me posting the course, it's been hectic. So what is a topic pregnancy? You know, in that uh, reproductive system of female, you know that there's ovaries, then during your men's, uh, during your ovulation period, the egg has to move from those tubes up until it gets fertilized. It gets fertilized there, then it moves to the to the endometrium. So if it attaches or it lands anywhere other than the endo, end, endometrium or the uterus in the endometrium, then it's an ectopic pregnancy. So it can be there in the arm, it can be there in the eczema, it can be there in the interstitial. So that's uh, ectopic. So implantation of the uh, fertilized egg in any other area other than the, the endometrium of the uterus. So um, what we do now is like this. So there are many, um, many, many treatment that we do. Uh, we can do expected treatment when we just expect and see how far it will go. You know, um, I find that it can spontaneously in or you know uh, die in simple terms. Or we can do medical therapy where we give, uh, depending on the fetus, if it's viable, the baby is viable, so we can uh, uh, give medical treatment. And we can also do surgical if the baby is it's viable or not viable. So there are many categories, but now we have the surgical, uh, we have reached the surgical treatment of it, so we have passed that one. So the most important thing or the most dangerous thing is when the ectopic has ruptured. So you may find that that part is on the, on the tube there, it has implanted on the tube. And you know the tube is very small. So once it's small, then that pregnancy is going to grow and it's going to rupture. And once it ruptures, then you're going to have bleeding. The classical tribe like you will present with uh, abdominal pain, vaginal bleeding, and um, what's the other one? Amenorrhea. Uh, amenorrhea, yes, yes. So uh, that, that all in all, uh, in, all, in, all, in all, that's an uh, ectopic. So here today we're just doing um, tubal, tubal, tubal ligation, basically. So what do we do now? Because now on this, uh, on this, uh, on this uh, theater population that we're having, we have that ectopic on the tube. So what we do now? We, we went there and we cut uh, between, we, we sort of form the loop, you know, on that uh, uh, ectopic. Then we form the loop and we, we sort of um, switch on it and cut it out. You know, I don't know if that makes sense. But it will be like this. Then we go from a loop on this. Then we cut around if you have a pen. Maybe it, it, it makes sense. So this is the, the tube. So what we do, we come here and uh, make this become a loop, you know. It will come like this. And then this will be the ectopic. Then we cut here. You know, we cut here, then we cut out the ectopic and then that, 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 that's all. So um, a lot of the, them, they occur on the ampulla. 70% of them occurs on the ampulla as it increases to 10, like, uh, like 10, 11% and all that. But ampulla, that's where a lot of uh, them occur. So what exactly are the risk factors of these things? Why would someone, what, what are the things that predict, disposes you to, to ectopic pregnancy, you know? Um, and my colleague here, uh, be helping me. Uh, first thing first, we have, um, uh, smoking, smoking causes uh, is the risk factor of that. We also have um, previous uh, tuba surgery. We also have previous miscarriage. We also have um, sterilization. Uh, we also have um, uh, age, also about 40 years of, uh, of age, also plays a role. Infertility. Yeah, we have infertility there. Previous ectopic. And previous ectopic, of course. Documented genital infection. Yes, and the, the genital uh, uh, infection that arises there. On that. Oh. I think it's about eight or nine. So when you have this, it's, 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 it causes you to infections, you know, uh, I mean, to ectopic pregnancy. And as a result, We'll have it and um, we'll come to this uh, last result of surgical therapy. Uh, 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 so I was talking about, I uh, just added, wanted to add about the treatment of the of the surgical treatment. So we have two surgical treatments because now, in, in, like, like I said, on the on the medical treatment, we can give uh, metro, met, metroxides depending on the on the uh, fetal uh, fetal movement and also uh, fetal heart. You know. The heart of the baby and all that. But now, when you go to the surgical, then, 
Uh, we found that we have two uh, treatments where we can have um, salpingotomy and salpingectomy. You know, so with salpingotomy, uh, we do it usually when we find that you had a, 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 a tumor location aside and you had a topic on the right, then we have to cut the tube. You know, then if you have another ectopic on the left to preserve that person to have kids in the near future, because we take care of those people. We cannot do salpingectomy. Salpingectomy is what we did decide to cut out uh, the tube. You know? So there's salpingectomy and salpingotomy. So with salpingotomy, we are trying to preserve. So what we do with salpingotomy, we are going to cut within the tube, open it, you know, and take out that uh, that ectopic, that baby inside there. That's one baby. Then we are going to close that 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 tube. And allow it to, you know, to preserve it. We allow it to continue functioning normally. As much as there are risks to that in terms of the future uh, pregnancy, but, but we are preserving because we already cut the right side into ectopic, and that is called salpingectomy. And we cut it. Uh, we also take uh, the, 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 the baby. So with salpingectomy, we are going to open the tube, remove the baby, close the tube, so that the tube. It's lie, it can function normally and you can have kids in the next. But if it results to the part where we cannot do something go to me, then we go to um to to, to, to the something go to me and we remove it and definitely we will cancel it. Like like I said before, we definitely going to uh, harvest the eggs, you know, freeze them and do uh surrogacy in vitro and and, and other procedures related to that. And from me to you, I say thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. In the overview of um, today's procedure, and um, like enough, I managed to assist as you can see in the pictures. Uh, it's a good thing. It didn't take much. You know, we didn't, I think it didn't take an hour, so we're done uh, with it. So yeah, that that is for me, guys. This KB general, uh, just giving you know, topic pregnancy, you know, medicine for sure. What and why? So thanks for tuning in. Uh, please do the honors of sharing and uh, liking and subscribing.